Good. So we are here with Thrown Out Bones here at the Legacy at the Riverfront. <laughs> So you probably saw them on Off the Record on Wednesday night, but I roped them into doing this again because it's what I do. Hey, because so, you're awesome. We like being oh, roped. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, complicated. <laughs> and we're off to a great start. All right. Hey, I like it though. So you guys have um, actually come to Tallahassee a little sooner than what you were planning to come to Tallahassee. So what have you guys been doing since? couple days ahead of schedule um let's see so we did the off the record podcast right. uh that was awesome we got to uh set up and practice a little bit in jeremy's amazing uh bike shop that he right. that he's got in the back of the podcast studio um, we played the most america vibey music we could we were, we were practicing some tom petty and we were just observing the screaming eagles around us and whatnot and yes like my face turned red, white, and blue. Yeah. We were like, uh, are you asphyxiating? Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to the Art Railroad uh, District. The Railroad yeah. Square yeah. Arts. Yeah. Which was yeah. so yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. that was, yeah. That was cool. amazing to check out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, very, very, like, stuff to look at everywhere. And somehow, despite the fact that we only had, like, 25 minutes, we actually all wound up buying things. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's very common for us to try to go on, like, wardrobe shopping trips and buy nothing in ours because we're like, oh, I didn't, didn't find anything. Especially like vintage thrift store type things where it's like you have no idea what you're going to get. Yeah, it's like, also, oh, that place yeah. is exclusively 50s and 60s. And, and everything nothing. was $300. Yeah. But it's also guys' clothing is so hard to find like fun, showy stuff. <laughs> guys' clothes so, boring. Yeah. Girls' yeah. clothes. Nice. Yeah. But um, we've started branching into new ways to get expressive, which is really fun. That is awesome. Totally. That is really cool. Like, and I noticed that you guys kind of tend to stick to like a little bit of a theme, like almost like a not necessarily matching, but matching. If that makes yeah. sense, so matching vibes. We to, yeah, we try we to vibe. try to spiritually match, even if uh, you yeah. know we're not matchy matchy. Yeah. Shout out to the universal and the universal, yeah. the universal <laughs> truth. Yes. The universal truth. <laughs> yes. Okay, I have to say that I laughed hysterically when you guys were talking about all that, and like. You I could and I could stop laughing. Back. Yeah, I was like. I mean, when when it makes me want to go to that place. When you believe it, when you feel it. Yeah. 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 You need it. Believe it, like believe Naruto it. says. Yes. Naruto, <laughs> which I Naruto do. Naruto was telling us about the universal truth. All That's true. Time. The whole time. He used the universal truth jitsu on us. I'm truth sold jitsu, in there. beautiful. Incredible. Beautiful. So are you saying Naruto gets you? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah. Naruto. Naruto. Yes. How could he not? So you guys have not gone on yet, so what right. can we expect? Tell the people who will not be here tonight, who will watch this recording later, what are they going to be missing besides badassery? Uh, ooh, hot shit. Yes, yes, you're going to be- literally will shit on stage. That's, a, that's next week's show. We will, oh shit! We will take a steaming dump on stage. Hot shit. Yeah, that's Great next job. week's show at our friend's wedding. That's what he requested. I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> lots of sweet, sweet jams. Yep. Um, we're yeah. going to experiment. Some hard rock, some yeah. soft rock, some medium, well done rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we've been eating a lot of meat at this barbecue joint. True. Going to try some interesting, um, something we call the power hour, potentially. Bunch of mashup. Which yeah. is just a yeah. series it's of mashups. Like series yeah. of like six or seven songs, covers uh, yeah. that we're like taking little one minute slices of and we smash them all into to take one. A shot every time. A beer shot. A beer shot. Don't hurt yourself. It, <laughs> we're not doing the whole power hour. Yeah, because an actual yeah. power yeah. hour you know is you take yeah. a shot of beer every minute for an hour. Which we did for we, one of our no. friends. Birthdays yep, one year, yeah. and it was so like, birthday party. whoa, these people are schwonkers. People, yeah. people were trashed, and people were having such a blast. Because we I mean, were also like, because it's like, yeah, so 60, 60 like fun pop songs like smashed together so fast. You're you're just like sitting there going like, wait, what is that? Oh, oh, are they gonna? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, but now it's gone. Now it's something else. Wow, it's like it's it's very strange. Uh, and yeah. man, it was that was the single thing I think we practiced for the most because it was yeah. like. Oh yeah, it's like, it's it's very unforgiving to play because totally. it's like you're playing for an hour straight. See the thing, right. um, the thing is when you when we're playing normally like we because we improvise a lot so it's like if we mess up like we can kind of roll with it, yeah. but if like yeah if you're locked into this like strict order of songs yeah. and like we need to do this verse and then this chorus and then new song, it's like yeah like but, you said 
Yeah, plus I, I can't emphasize enough, you're playing for an hour. It's yeah, like, straight. I don't care if you're doing your, the like epic mega rerun version of like the biggest free, free bird you've ever done. It's like, it's probably not an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're also going to be debuting a couple or two new songs that we've never played live before. So, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so, so excited. That's going to be exclusive oh, here hey. at Legacy <laughs> at the Riverfront. Hell yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're super excited about that. been practicing them. Um, and yeah, excited to show them off. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So for anybody that's going to be watching this later, why don't you tell them all what you do? Because most people lose their shit when they find out what you do. Because you are a female. So... Yeah. We'll start down here and work our way around. <laughs> well, I um, menstruate. <laughs> um, but just wait to yes. hear what I do. <laughs> <laughs> because she's a female. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I play guitar. Um, and I Badass guitars. Thank you. And you have an amazing fucking voice. Thank you. Like, he hit those high notes, right. Wednesday. Oh, right. my God. I can't get over those high notes. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I do the bass. I hold down the low end. And I also uh, sing some backing vocals. And... I lose my shit whenever I remember that Liliana's a female. So. <laughs> That's actually one of the things that um, I saw. I saw it yesterday, and I almost got it to give it to you, but it was a shirt that said, um, bass player, the reason your girlfriend dances. Yes. Nice. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. That's it. <laughs> That oh, is the good. truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> so help me universal truth. Yes. <laughs> Um, what do I do other women? Just yeah. kidding. Wow. <laughs> Not kidding that much. Wow. Um, I play the drums and sing lead. Um, and yeah. And Do you play a little bit of guitar? I play a little bit of guitar and I play a little bit of piano too, for sure. Really? Because last, uh, on Wednesday night at Off The Record, I saw you pick up his guitar and I saw you strumming a little bit before you handed it over to him. And I'm like, holy shit, she plays more than just drums. I strummed a G chord. It was pretty <laughs> sick. It was pretty badass. Wait a really second, are you a female strumming a G chord? <laughs> what? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll play your G string. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Zing. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh my, God. <laughs> oh my God, I love you guys. Yay. So, um, do you guys want to harmonize real quick and Ooh. give uh, people who will be Shall watching? We? Okay. We can do it. it. Let's do it. What's All the right. note? Ooh, uh, nice, dude. We so agreed. There you are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So people think the physical things define what's within but i've been there before and that life's a bore so full of the superficial because some people want it all but i don't want nothing at all if it ain't you baby if I got you, baby, some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything, but everything means nothing if I ain't got you. You like that? You like the little voice crack in there? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. You got you got applause. Oh, you got you. applause. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys for taking time to talk with me again. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys. Thank We're you. excited. We're yeah, so shows, excited. Shows. Yeah. And we are back and we have copyright claim with us. You guys might have remembered us from the last time we did a live and we got to interview them. Awesome people. So just for whoever did not get to catch that, um, why don't you guys go around and tell us your names and what you do. Uh, I'm Susanna, I sing. I'm Martin, I play bass. I'm Eric, I play guitar. I'm Nick, I also play guitar. I'm Alex, I play drums. Nice. So last time you guys were here, you guys killed it. You did an amazing, amazing job. So what um, are you guys going to be playing the same set or are you guys going to be doing a different set tonight? Got some new songs. One new song. Right? One new song. Okay. <laughs> Maybe That's another good. one we haven't played here before, but 
Okay, so now I'm really excited to hear the new one because <laughs> I love the last set that you guys did. You guys were awesome. So, Thank and your voice. Oh my God, I love your voice. I love your voice. So how long have you guys been playing? Almost um, a year now. Yeah? Almost. I think and you like, guys are that good? Like some <laughs> together, not like, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've been playing together well, for yeah, a year I've now, been playing I guess. Yeah, I guess over a year. If we, Our first show was almost a year ago. We've been practicing a few months before that. But you guys are that good, and you've only been together, like, as a group for, wow. Holy shit. You guys are really, really good. Like, you're seriously talented. Thank you. So, Thank where do you guys see yourself in the next five years? Hollywood. <laughs> Music released at the very least. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. yeah, let's look at the lofty, you know, like the goals of House of Blues. Maybe we play a House of Blues as an opening <laughs> act. I'll be so happy with that. Like, that's all I need. With like a music festival, or like an out, one of those yeah. outdoor music yeah, festivals. Sure. That'd be play sick. Play Swanee or something. Yeah. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be really cool. I think you guys would fit in really good at Swanee. That's maybe Earth Day, birthday? That, uh, yeah, maybe yeah, that too. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I'd be happy playing a small stage. Yeah. So who, who would you want to open for? Mega Mango. <laughs> Flip turn, Mega Mango. Uh, what yeah, are, what, Deer what Hunter. Are Deer Hunter in Atlanta. Deer Hunter, that's my dream. Deer Hunter? Yeah, I die happy, I'm good. Deer Hunter. Yeah. See, I would say Red Hot Chili Peppers, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> that's awesome. And uh, so the other question that I was wanting to ask you guys last time were, what has been your most favorite performance that you guys have done? That's a good question. I would say our most recent one, uh, just because it was the biggest crowd we've ever played that for. Was a big crowd. It was a house I, I party situation, <laughs> but still, they were all there. That was awesome. Club Down party. Under at FSC was pretty cool too. Yeah, that was because we won. That yeah, had, like they set it up for that us. Was fun. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's probably my favorite too, just because it was like our show. It was like, they oh, made merch one, yeah. for us. They set up everything. Yeah just for us. We got to pick the opener. It was pretty cool. Oh, that's that's awesome. crazy. That is awesome. awesome. So thank you guys for taking a few minutes for chatting with me and make sure you guys check them out and what are your socials so everybody can go and follow you guys. Uh, at copyrightclaim.band on Instagram and then if you look up Copyright Claim Tallahassee we'll come up on YouTube. Yes. Link is also in our bio on Instagram. Oh yeah. So make sure you check these guys out and thank you guys again so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we are here with Vivian. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out and talking to me and letting me annoy you for a few minutes. Um, so why don't you guys say your name and what you guys do? My name is Elena and I play the voice and, <laughs> and the violin and some other stuff. What other stuff? Uh, keyboards and bass and guitar and buttons. <laughs> I like buttons, mostly to push them, but I like Especially them. the red kind. Yes, yes. <laughs> and my name is Timo, and I play guitar and bass and kind of buttons as well. And also buttons. primary producer, or we both produce, but that's more my role. So you guys produce all your own stuff? Yeah. Yes, we do. Wow. So we've been... We were just talking light show. We've been trying to make a, a a one band experience with just the two of us. So our lights, we like to joke, are the drummer currently. Yeah. <laughs> we can't afford a drummer, but those lights, it's like a one-time expense of $300. Yeah. And it, counts. it counts. They keep time. They keep time just fine. There you go. <laughs> so how long have you guys been playing and singing? Well, for you, you play like almost everything, it seems like. But <laughs> life my whole life our our band is new so we started in late 2019 and then paused in secret and, and, yeah we we uh, didn't announce our we band didn't or until release any early music 2020 until 2020 cuz timing <laughs> we're really great at timing but we had been we'd played music for 5 years before that and some other projects and so we we're t taking all the things we learned from our other projects and put them into Vivian I think that's the best way you can do it, is just kind of like any mistakes you may take them and learn from it and grow, and that's awesome that you guys did that. That's awesome. We, we had both been together and separately, I think, like high-level amateur musicians. Okay. You know, like we always had full-time jobs and really felt like, for whatever reason, we never gave it like 
full attention. Fully tried. Just most, you know, like it was always like an expensive hobby. So we decided to skip With it. With this band, just, you know, give it our we all die. and see what happens. You never know. That's awesome. <laughs> so, how would you guys describe your music? Exciting. <laughs> Erotic. <laughs> Uh, uh, excellent. Oh, I was just going to stay with E-words. <laughs> <laughs> Erroneous. <laughs> Extra. Extra. So, I have not seen you guys live before. Electronic. Electronic. We're electronic, yeah. Okay. okay. We're, we're hybrid. We're not, we're not electronic we, enough to be like an EDM act. We're not an EDM band, because that's an oxymoron. That's exactly what we are, because we play flesh and blood instruments. <laughs> We play wooden instruments and and have also bleepy bloops. How did that go? Bleepy bloops. I love you guys you know? already. <laughs> I so love you guys already. It's funny though, we don't sound like our personalities. <laughs> I don't know why. Our music is very serious and somber. <laughs> it's like an alter ego. It's like I mean, isn't that kind of like the point though? Like when you get on stage, you're like, you know what I mean? You kind of, you, you shift into this whole other person that you're not normally, you know, like that, like off stage. So that's yeah. exactly right. I think that that's kind of what we're going for is like the full experience too. So that the, the listener or the watcher also just gets a break okay. from whatever their, you know, whatever your day is just a break and you can like go into another world for a minute. That's that's awesome. And I think a lot of people really enjoy that aspect of music is that when they listen, they just kind of, they forget things for, for a bit, you know, before they have to go back to the stress, you know, and that's awesome that you guys recognize that and you try to, you know, put that out there and just be like, hey, party time, you know, or something. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's totally why we're doing it, just to forget our own lives for a minute and be totally in the moment. Yeah, and enjoy those moments and with people, and it, that's a beautiful thing. So. It is. That is amazing. I don't know if that tells you what it sounds like. <laughs> we've we've started calling it mushroom pop. I don't know where this video is going. People kept coming up to us and said they enjoyed it whilst on mushrooms, and so we decided that's what it is. So now I need to try this because <laughs> that's a thing, and I have to at least once. So Sorry. why not? <laughs> why not? That's awesome. So whenever you guys are on stage, how, before, well, I should say before you go on stage, uh, do you guys have any pre-show rituals that you do? Uh, well, we're married, and so we try to look each other in the eyes and say I love you before we play. Um, that's like more of a relationship thing than a band thing, but like being married and working together forget. we go into full on work mode and yeah like, and then you like are on stage and like 20 minutes later you're like we didn't even take a breath like you show up and it's like ah it's crazy yeah. and then yeah what? i think unfortunately we're not successful enough to have a pre-show ritual because it's always situations like this we where hurry like, up and wait that's, kinda, our, that's our ritual. We don't have a green room, which is, I mean, maybe there is a green room here. I don't know. We didn't ask. But generally, we just try to not people. to get too drunk. Yeah. That's our pre-show ritual. Drink slowly. As we drink slowly, we, we like to actually, like, listen to the other bands. That's a huge part of why we do it is just connecting with other people like us elsewhere. So, and it's yeah. a lot of and seeing the different music communities that spring up in different places and then being the person that kind of connects those places because as you travel around you find that everybody we are more connected than we think we are oh, absolutely. And absolutely and that's something that i can say about this music community is that you find that you know some people are like oh you know the music scene is dying but then you see bands that you know come out of like seems like out of nowhere and they're like hey so we're here and we want to play and i'm like music scene's definitely not it's dead. never it's never gonna go away there's always going to be that it, need it waves yeah. though it, all, it you does will see yeah. that but sometimes it's just like one band can make an entire music community suddenly make sense right. Right. i love that aspect of it too because a lot of people don't they don't look at it that way and think you know hey you know, all it takes is this one band to rally all the other bands, and then there you go, you know? So that that's really cool. So what, what has been your guys' favorite performance? Ooh, we think. We're pretty, we're new, so. 
Um, I would say, so there's this festival in yeah, our hometown in Colorado. It's called Focoa Mex. It's from Fort Collins, Colorado. And uh, we had played it in our other bands previously, but we never got a chance to debut this band, really. And we only Which played a few shows in was Colorado the plan during to COVID. De debut it in 2020. Like, we didn't, again, it was secret, so we didn't tell anyone we had started this band. So when we, we finally got to do it at this festival, which was like kind of a homecoming for us, and it was a packed, packed room, and just it, awesome. It really felt good. really good. Yeah. That is amazing. That's, That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for taking a few moments and chatting with me and letting me annoy you for a little bit, so but nice uh, <laughs> it's all. nice to meet you guys. Um, so I cannot wait to see your set tonight. Best of luck, and uh, hopefully we'll be catching you again soon. Thank you. I Thank you. Great to meet you. You too.
Yeah.